I am Anil Kumar sharing with you few application questions based on rate of change. Water is pouring into a conical tank at the rate of 50 meter cube per minute. If the height and the radius at the top of the tank are 12 meter and 6 meter respectively, find the rate at which the water level is rising at the instant when height is 4 meters. So let's uh, sketch the diagram, right? So we'll just make a conical flask here. Okay. And what we are given here is that <clears throat> the ratio of height and radius is given to us. So at a particular point, somewhere here, let us say, the, the ratio of radius it says if the height and the radius at the top of the tank are 12 meter and 6 meter well this seems to be much smaller but anyway radius is 6 and this is 12 that is the ratio is 1 is to 2 somewhere at the top right <clears throat> find the rate at which the water level is rising at the instant when height is 4 it says when height is 4 at that time find the rate okay so whenever you have a question related to conical tank, we normally use similar triangles to find the relation. This is very important to understand, right? Similar triangles. Now, as you can see in this particular example, you can consider a triangle. Somewhere there will be a corner, correct? So all these triangles which are formed here are all similar, right? So that gives you a relation between height and the radius. So from the given condition, we know that height over radius is 12 over 6. 12 over 6, uh, that is 2. Correct? So we can write height divided by 2 is radius r. So that links height with the radius. Now, we need to also know the formula for volume of conical flask. Volume for conical flask is 1 by 3 pi r square h. It is one third volume of a cylinder, right? One pi r square h is volume of a cylinder. Now, since we know r is half of height, we can replace r with h by 2. So we can write the formula in terms of h. So we get pi, instead of r, we'll write h over 2 whole square times h, right? So that gives you a formula for volume in terms of r. <clears throat> Let's rewrite this. So we have volume equals 2. Uh, so h square and h will give you h cube. And here we have 4. So we have 1 over 4 times 3 is 12. 12. Let me write this as pi over 12. And we have h cube. Is that clear to you? <clears throat> Since h square, 2 square is 4, right? Now, let's find rate of change with respect to time. So, if I differentiate with respect to time, I get dv dt equals 2. That is a constant, pi over 12, times 3h square, 3h square dh dt, correct? dh dt. Now I think it's simple. You can find height, rate of change of height from the given condition. You already know that conical flask is being filled at 50 meter cube per minute. So in this example, we are given dv dt is constantly filled by at the rate of 50 meter cube per minute. So we know dv dt and we need to find this rate of change when height is 4, when height is 4, correct? So dh dt can be isolated. Let's simplify this first and then isolate. So that goes 4 times and therefore we can write <coughs> dh dt as equal to <coughs> pi h square comes in the denominator, 4 goes to numerator, cross multiply, right? So 4 over pi h square dv dt. 
correct so for h equals to 4 we have to replace h with 4 dvd is 50 we can write this as 4 over pi h is 4 so that means 4 square times dvd is 50 correct so this 4 cancels with that 4 4 square and then we can also cancel this by 2 and make this by 25 so what we get here is 25 over pi and the units for height will be meter per minute right so i hope these steps are absolutely clear and uh, <coughs> So, oh, yeah, I forgot to write this 2, yeah, 2 pi, 25 over 2 pi meters per minute. So, I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Basically, you have to use a similar triangle to relate height with radius. Once you do that, then you write volume as a function of height and then differentiate with respect to time both sides to get your answer, right? So, we get dh dt when height is equals to 4 meters equals to 25 over 2 pi meters per minute is it okay so that is how it should be done i hope that helps thank you and all the best